so in our previous video we saw that how you can use state to provide dynamic dynamic content in your app and in this video we are going to use the state to implement text input in your app so basically whenever you require to get information from the user then you can always use text input so user can type in their name age or anything that user can type in so what we're gonna do we will uh, uh, create two state uh, one is for name and one is for age so whenever user type their name and age uh, on those fields in real time the value will be changed in the text that we uh, provided below that text input okay so let us first create state one is name set name to change the value now we provide the initial state second will be in the age and 24 okay so just save it um, let us first create a text property and provide my name is now use the name okay so here you can see my name is Bridget and my age is 24 years okay so uh, now we will create another text just for the label enter your name okay and to use the text we first need to import text input okay, so it's a self closing component text input so when you press here you can type in but uh, by default there is no styling in text input so we need to provide some style okay, okay so yes, style is okay. styles let's say input now create the input style ok so first of all the border color let's say black by default the border width is 0 so we provide border width also same one let's provide some padding and margin also and also provide the width so as you can see now it's perfectly visible okay so now what we are going to do is provide the function so as we saw in the button component uh, button has the event 
on press and uh, this has the event on change text so whenever the text inside the text input will change this will fire a function we will not create any external function we will be using an inline anonymous function and just use set name and whatever user type uh, in this it will be uh, update in real time here so on change text it provide us a text you can give it any name you want it provide a text that user enters here and we can use that text now when I save it let's say as you can see it updates in real time my name is Tony and my age is 24 years you can also uh, provide placeholder let's say uh, enter so as you can see enter your name and when you type in this the placeholder will disappear okay so let us create one more for the edge let us just copy this enter your age now we have two placeholder uh, two uh, text input so 933 so my name is Tony and my age is 33 years as you can see it updates in real time so this is how you can use text input you can also use multi-line property so user can type in new line every time and if you notice here when I uh, click on this text input for the age that I created you can also you can pro, you can type numeric here but user can also type the alphabet which is logically incorrect so to uh, so to prevent this type of error from the user side uh, text input also has one property keyboard type you can provide keyboard type and you can use a numeric As you can see, when I uh, click on the text input created for the name, you will get the full size keyboard with all the alphabets and numbers. And when I click on the edge, you only get the numeric. So, user cannot type in the alphabets in edge. So, you can prevent this type of error from the user side in the first place. So, this is it. This is how you can use text box. Uh, sorry text inputs in react native so thanks for watching it